Are you stuck playing a boring management game right now? Do you want to find something that's right down your alley or maybe something completely new? Well, the second half of 2024 is now upon us and fans of management games will not be disappointed. From running a successful prison to managing medieval kingdoms, this year's top new management games have something for everyone. I'll be covering titles that let you run a car manufacturing empire, survive in a harsh new world, or even manage a bustling restaurant. So coming up, I'll guide you through 10 upcoming standout management games of 2024, as well as some that actually dropped this week, plus some honorable mentions that didn't make the list that are at the end of the video, so you might want to stick around as you might find a hidden gem or two. So sit back, grab a glass of water, and maybe stick around as you might find the next addictive game here. So let's get started. So no particular order, starting with number 10 on the list, we have Cataclysmo, which is an interesting game here because it's a bit like an RTS slash base building hybrid, but there is still resource and unit management thrown into the mix. You're basically in charge of the last humans after some magical apocalypse happens, and you've got to build these insane fortresses to help keep the hordes at bay. But this is where it gets interesting. You're not just plopping down some pre-made buildings here, you're actually crafting these defenses from the ground up, making towers, walls and traps however you want. The game's got you juggling a lot of stuff here, resource management, troop placements and even oxygen supplies because the air is all messed up. During the day you're out exploring and building up your base, but when night falls it's all hands on deck with some intense RTS action. There were some elements in the demo that I wasn't too fond of, but it shows tons of potential. So if you're into games that make you think on your feet and love a good challenge, Cataclysmo is definitely one to watch out for. Next up, coming in at number 9, we have Norland, which dropped actually this week, making all RimWorld players lean forward on their chairs. Picture, say, RimWorld and Mana Lords combined to make RimLords, so technically it's like a medieval colony sim, but there's a lot more going on than just that. So you're not just managing a kingdom here, you're basically managing an entire noble family's drama, and trust me, there's plenty of that going around. In Norland, you're dealing with everything from peasant revolts to family backstabbing, and you've got to keep these nobles happy and skilled up. But you need to be careful too, as they've all got their own agendas. And don't even get me started on the economy here. You've got to be balancing the trade, keeping the peasants fed and buzzed. Yeah, beer is important. All while trying to expand your kingdom. Plus, there's a whole world out there with other kingdoms to deal with, whether through marriage, trade, or good old-fashioned warfare. And yeah, the game was just released, so there are some bugs, but man, it's got a lot of potential here. So if you're into games that throw a ton of systems at you and let you create your own story, Norland is definitely one to check out today. Then next on the list at number 8 is Car Manufacture, which is highly recommended for your factory gamers out there. It's this intense management sim that throws you back into the early 20th century when cars were just starting to hit the streets. So if you always wanted to be your own Henry Ford, this will be the game for you. You're going to be picking factory locations, designing assembly lines, hiring workers, and even deciding which screws to go where. But there's so much attention to detail here that the game looks pretty insane. I mean, you're trying to unlock 60 different car models here. You're going to be doing some employee training for tech research. But what's cool is that you're shaping history in a way here. You're dealing with the rise of assembly lines, the introduction of robots, and even marketing your sweet rides to the masses. So if you've ever wanted to be a car tycoon without getting your hands dirty, car manufacturer might be your ticket to the top. Coming in at number 7, we've got Endzone 2, the sequel to the post-apocalyptic survival city builder. This game takes everything from the first end zone and kicks it up a notch. Instead of just managing one big settlement here, you'll now be managing multiple zones, each with unique resources. Plus the big new feature here is vehicles, where you start by choosing your settlement location with say a bus, and then you can later build more for trade and exploration. The devs have also done some serious work under the hood. They've fixed up settler behavior and job distribution, so managing big populations should be a lot smoother. The graphics too have gotten a major overhaul with a new rendering system, making the post-apocalyptic world look even more detailed and more immersive. So if you're into challenging survival city builders with a post-apocalyptic twist, then Endzone 2 is definitely one to watch. 
Next up at number 6 we've got Shapes 2, another sequel about the factory building game that focuses entirely on constructing enormous, efficient and effective factories. Here you'll be building sprawling multi-level factories and optimizing your layouts without any limits. The game is designed for enthusiasts who thrive on perfecting automation and optimizing production lines. And Shapes 2 offers a top-down perspective where you can extract and process these geometric shapes. Each of these shapes consists of a building block that your factories can then dismantle, stack, paint and then reassemble in unique ways. The game itself is a pure factory building experience without any enemies, time limits or resource constraints. The buildings are free and resources are unlimited, so you get to redesign and rebuild as much as you want. It's pretty cool. You'll begin your operation on a single asteroid and then expand by building new platforms, progressing from a single belt all the way into these vast multi-station space factories connected by these crazy space trains. And so if you're a fan of Satisfactory or Dyson Sphere program, I would recommend checking out Shapes 2 today. Alright, then coming in at number 5, we have Chef RPG, which is kind of like, hey, that looks like Stardew Valley, but then they applied all the farming mechanics to the cooking industry, which is pretty interesting. Curious to see more. Your main goal in the game is to gather ingredients using a variety of unconventional tools such as scythes and bows to create culinary masterpieces in your custom restaurants. The management aspects of Chef RPG are rich and varied here. You'll be designing menus, decorating your restaurants and hosting dining experiences for your townsfolk. Additionally, you'll need to handle farming and brewing activities to ensure a steady variety of fresh ingredients. A key feature of the game is their interaction with food critics who will be visiting your restaurants and writing different reviews and influencing your reputation. You can also hire out your restaurant for special events, catering to specific culinary and decor requirements. So if you're a fan of charming, cozy games like Stardew Valley, then I would definitely recommend checking out Chef RPG, it looks right down your alley. Then coming in at number 4 we have Kaiser Punk, which is a grand strategy city building game. This game asks you what if moments in history as we know it didn't happen and you could actually reshape it to something new. Set against the backdrop of the harsh times of World War 1 and 2, Kaiser Punk offers players a complex strategic gameplay experience. Here, players must balance the use of economic power and military might to influence their cities, regions and potentially the world. The game challenges players to plan and manage every aspect of their cities, from layout and citizen morale to organizing supply chains, all while navigating the unique traits and specialties of four different citizen classes. In Kaiser Punk, the strategic depth extends way beyond city management though. With over 100 different regions to consider, Players must also engage in diplomacy and trade or resort to brute force to manage relations with others. The game's cause and effect system ensures that each choice impacts the unfolding narrative, providing a fresh experience with every playthrough. As you progress, the evolving chain of events will reflect your decisions, creating a dynamic and immersive world. So yeah, if you're a fan of city builders and historical timelines, then definitely check out Kaiser Punk today. Then coming in at number 3 we have Prison Architect 2. From Paradox Interactive they've now turned the game 3D. And this looks pretty promising as it involves now deeper simulation, enhanced player control and an advanced inhabitant behavior system all with these new creative options. The game has been delayed which is a bit unfortunate but I'm still so looking forward to it because the original was amazing. In the game you'll be building elaborate structures to manage your inmates needs and maintain financial stability. It also comes with a connection system where prisoners form relationships that impact their behavior, adding another layer of complexity. According to Gareth Wright, the game director of Double Eleven, the team aimed to enhance management gameplay with greater player freedom, impactful choices and detailed inmate simulation in this 3D world. The game includes a new career mode, cross-platform features and a variety of tools to build state-of-the-art correctional facilities over multiple floors. And yeah, I love the original and it's unfortunate that this got delayed for some time later in the year. But if you're a fan of management games like this, then Prison Architect 2 is definitely going to be turning some heads. Coming in at number 2 we have The Alters. This is a intriguing sci-fi management game where you play as Jan Dolsky who is uh, stranded on this alien planet and he must pilot a giant mobile laboratory in order to survive. The twist here though is that Jan or Jan must create alternate versions of himself from different realities. 
known as alters, that each come with their own unique skills and personalities. Managing these alters is crucial for maintaining the lab and ensuring survival. You'll need to strategically assign tasks, balance their needs, and navigate their distinct backstories, making for quite a deep and engaging complex management experience. In the game, you'll be gathering resources, managing the lab's operations, and making critical decisions about each alter's development. Using the lab's quantum computer, you can also then revisit key moments from Yan's life to influence the skills and traits of new alters, which is pretty trippy, tailoring them to meet the needs of your team. You'll be building relationships and maintaining morale among your alters, which adds another layer of strategy here, as their emotional well-being directly impacts their efficiency and cooperation. The game's unique blend of resource management, character development, and narrative depth promises quite a captivating journey for fans of management games. I'm very excited for this, so add the alters to your wishlist today if this game looks down your alley. And then finally, coming in at number one, we have Frostpunk 2, which looks crazy cool, and not just because it's all in snow. The original was fantastic, but if you're a fan of the survival city builders, then Frostpunk 2 is probably already on your list. City builders and survival games can be challenging to dive into, especially when they follow a complex predecessor like the original. However, Frostpunk 2 welcomes new players with open arms, with the devs making it a bit easier for newcomers. The game tasks you with building and evolving a city to combat the relentless cold, now on a much larger scale. You'll construct entire city districts, measure times in weeks and months, and navigate intricate political landscapes. And don't forget those never-ending moral dilemmas. Ah, my favorite. Frostmunk 2 introduces significant gameplay changes too that make the experience a lot more intense and rewarding. The new Frostbreak mechanic and the council system add layers of strategy and depth too. You'll need to secure resources, manage workforce numbers, and pass crucial laws through a parliament-like body of factions. The game constantly challenges you with ethical decisions, ensuring that each choice impacts your city's survival and growth. So yeah, despite the grim scenarios, Frostpunk 2 is a visually stunning game with detailed environments and a captivating soundtrack, making it a must-play for fans of city building games and survival games alike. Now, I won't lie, it was pretty tricky narrowing this down to only 10, so I've added in some notable mentions here that I felt still deserved a shout out. So first up is The Crust, which also came out this week and would have received a higher spot on my list, but the reviews haven't been the greatest. I was really looking forward to this game, but maybe after some bug fixes and updates, it'll be a bit better. The Crust is a base building colony sim, where you'll need to be automating a lunar base as you become the savior of humanity, exploring the future on the moon. It looks really cool, but yeah, waiting for some updates coming up there. Next is Fata Diem or Fata Diem, which is a god game with a lot of colony management and strategy thrown into the mix. It's inspired by the god games from way back, so Fata Diem lets you mold settlements and townsfolk in your image. Picture black and white and a little bit of populace, and it all looks very exciting, so you might want to keep an eye out on this game. Then next up, I'm also including Nova Roma, just because it looks like a Julius Caesar jam. The glory of Rome is at your fingertips in the city building game where you must appease the gods, enact laws, and develop complex supply chains to meet the needs of your citizens. It looks very cool, I really like the graphics, and it's definitely something I'll keep my eye on. And then lastly, it's a game that actually has the word manager in it. It's Formula One Manager 2024, where you'll need to take charge of the F1 pit wall and manage every aspect of one of 10 official teams, where you'll need to create your own, aiming for glory. In the game, you'll need to strategize and direct your team during thrilling F1 races, and presented with broadcast quality visuals. But yeah, I'm guessing this might only appeal to F1 fans, but the devs are crazy good and I just wanted to include this regardless. So that wraps up the video. How was it? Did I miss any outs? Don't forget to check out my other management list video where I give out some crazy cool ones that came out earlier this year. But if you enjoyed this video, perhaps give it a like, comment or subscribe to help find the next game that you might get lost in. And if you know of a game that I didn't list here, please let me know in the comments section. I'd love to hear it and I might then cover it in a future video. But other than that, it's Marco here from Easily Distracted Games. And most of all, don't stop gaming.